What's going on everybody? It's out of Jacoby Owens. And today we're going to be coming from a few scriptures. We're going to jump over to Ephesians. And we're going to be coming out of Kings. All right. But Ephesians 1. Today we're going to talk just a little bit about inheritance. All right? uh, Ephesians 1 starting at verse 10. I cut this down. That in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his will, that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Christ, in whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation in whom ye also after that ye believed ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession until unto the praise of his glory all right it's just talking a little bit about an inheritance and the Holy Spirit is the the, the earnest like it's the first payment of that inheritance that we receive all right um, and we know in Romans 8, 17, it talks about us being children of God and heirs, heirs and joint heirs with Christ. You know, and if we're heirs and joint heirs, if we're children of God, we have an inheritance lined up for us. All right. Now let's keep that in mind as we read 1 Kings chapter 21. And it came to pass after these things that Naboth, the Jezreelite, had a vineyard, which was in Jezreel hard by the palace of Ahab king of Samaria and Ahab spake unto Naboth saying give me thy vineyard that I may have it for a garden of herbs because it is near unto my house and I will give thee for it a better vineyard than it or if it seem good to thee I will give thee worth of it in money and Naboth said to Ahab the Lord forbid it me that I should give the inheritance of my fathers unto, unto thee and we'll stop right there. You see, um, that scripture really stands out because we have an inheritance. And we have, uh, we have spirits that are in high places that, that motivate people to try to make us relinquish, try to make us give up our inheritance for something that we might see as tangible right here, right now. Um, money. You know, we might give up our spiritual inheritance for money, for a better, fi better financial status, you know what I mean? Um, we might give up our spiritual inheritance for um, material things. You know, he's like, look, I'll give you a better vineyard than this. You know, this inheritance you have, it's not the greatest, but the, the king wanted it. But he's trying to sell it all. This isn't the greatest, but uh, sell it to me. Give it to me. I'll give you what it's worth. I'll give you a better vineyard. I'll give you something of your choosing. That's almost like, sounds like a sell your soul type scenario, you know, because we have an inheritance of our father. And, you know, we can learn a lesson here from the both because he's like, no, nah, Lord forbid I give you the inheritance of my father. You know what I mean? He's offering all these things, trying to sweeten the deal. But he's like, you know what? I can't do it. Even though he could, he may have or may not have been tempted, you know. But I know that we get tempted on a daily basis to to relinquish, to get rid of, to sell our inheritance for something that we might think is uh, worth it when it's really not, you know. And that's just a quick nugget I wanted to share today. Prayerfully, it's been a blessing to you as it's been a blessing to me. Remember, Monday is the Monday prayer, Tuesday's testimony, Tuesday, and Wednesday is the quick word on Wednesday. Um, if you have any prayer requests, if you have any testimonies, feel free to share them. Uh, leave a comment below. You can shoot me an email and we'll pray together or we'll, um, I'll share your testimony. And then tune in on Wednesday for another nugget. It's not a Bible study. It's just a quick nugget to get you thinking, get you motivated, maybe get you into your word just a little bit more. All right, maybe get you asking the right questions. All right, but until next time, be blessed.